Coding skills, this is Lakshmi Deepak with you and today we will be seeing about a conditional statements in lightning web components and in the earlier session we already discussed about query selector all to validate your forms. So let's take a simple look how we can implement this lightning conditional statements inside lightning web components. It's very clear it was little different from the way we implemented in Aura components. Let's take a simple look. I'll be reusing the same component called data binding demo. This is what I'm building up. I made a comment, let's say, conditional statements demo one as my update. So for this, I'll be using some lightning input options of where, you know, right, we have libraries available where we can get these details from component library within your Salesforce developer guide. You can refer like a lightning checkbox group that we have a template called, let's say, uh, instead of doing that, let me define lightning card title equal to conditional statement one example so i'll say this is one example let me copy the same class the one i have from a body and i really don't want to re spend time on this so we got the body ready so what I'll define, I'll define my lightning combo box. So I'll define my lightning combo, I mean checkbox group. A name equal to skills and we have label and I'll say select skills and I'll say options it's much too small options here we need to pass our options okay here we need to pass our options we'll pass that later and value here we'll be having the final value and let's close this So we had closed the lightning box. So to use lightning options, let define few things. Define few things. Let me define conditional statement example. So here I'll define my variable saying that underscore options conditional so conditional options that what I mean here so how we can define as you know the options will always have two things what are the two things that will always have value and label options will have values and labels so let's say options so get let me get the values first return so all will be doing return of array so we are not doing so big here it's very simple return statement that I am writing return and I am passing like a three skills uh, let's say label equal to apex value equal to apex the same way I'll encourage to do for other things called label equal to aura and value equal to aura and the same thing I encourage for label equal to 
LWC value equal to LWC and I'll define one more variable for a value selected skills. So I define one more variable called selected skills. Any questions, if you have any questions, you can drop a comment here. Selected question, selected skills, I will define this as an array. Copy. I'm just checking whether my syntaxes are right or wrong. Just deploy it. Let me validate it. Looks like it's good. Let's go back and I'll replace my value with selected skills. What is this? Passing error, unexpected token, data binding at where we got this error. Deployment errors. Label apex value equal to apex oh my bad sorry guys it should be call and not on equal to we are passing uh phrasing of json properties uh, json will go with uh, columns sorry for confusion and i'll take my selected values okay we already got and let's take and selected options to the option value paste deploy it now we got selected values i'm allowing user to no module name of checkbox li li okay spelling mistake it's a spelling mistake oh my god now we are good. Let's take a look. Uh, let me get into data binding is the tab that we are looking always in our demos, data binding. Cannot find a variable R E T. Okay, spelling wrong line. R E T U R N. Return, uh, spelling mistake. Deploy. So it is trying to load with a get parameter, so we don't have a attribute so it's throwing an error that's well and good so we got conditional statements like uh, example one oh, oh, for a better side we can add like a br tag to it which will help for bright understanding so there are so many examples we discussed much before if you don't watch these videos you take go back and watch the videos from the pay playlist available yep and meantime, you can see like where I can search Apex, Lightning, Aura. So as soon as I select Apex, Aura, Lightning, I should show a message. For now, by default, I should show a message saying that by default, I should let's see P and let me add to slots equal to footer the skills selected by you as the skill selected are I need to pause the selected skill let's say here I have output selected skills. Output selected skills. Now I should be able to see this selected output skills. Only when the output selected skills are not equal to black. You understood? Now there is a condition I am talking about. Now there is a condition I am talking about. 
I should see only the text. I should see only the text. I should see the skills selected are only whenever I selected a skills. Whenever I selected a checkbox, then only I should see. Until then, I should not see any text available there. I should not see any text available there. See, even though if I don't select, this static text is loading. I need to add a condition saying that, hey, you should not allow in doing it. So what we can do here? What we can do here? So this is blank. This is blank. And we can always handle the change. Handle change. Let's say... Let's say for now we need to do one thing here we need to handle a chain as soon as I change the value then I need to update my logic for that sorry for confusion handle skill selection skill select And I am dependent on event now. I am dependent on event now. This dot. This dot. Selected skills equal to. Event dot detail dot value so here right value will contain more than one value so i will say that event dot detail dot value which will allow my data and then what we can say here i will say get output skills what to get return selected skills if selected skills i mean this dot selected skills dot length greater than 0 then i do return skills dot join by comma so we can join values by comma by using a simple method called join in javascript else i'll say no matter so this is the condition and all i need to do here here i have a footer right i'll say in footer if true if true this one so actually in LWC, in LWC you cannot do any compare. In Aura what we do, we generally say like Aura if is true and we write our condition like condition equal to equal to value, right? So we will not able to do these type of condition check. All you need to mention if true and the output variable. All you need to perform whether it is true or false directly inside your lightning web component javascript file alone okay in this case what it is checking if it is null then it will not render if it is not null then only it will render the data for you that what it will check it will understand on its own whether if the field is undefined whether the field is null then it will not load then it will not load let's take a look closely By default, it is not showing anywhere. Oh, might be I didn't handle, so my bad. I need to do handle on select. I I forgot to call that method here. On change, I need to call my action. On change, I'm changing my action. Deploy it.
by default it is not loading lwc you can see aura apex so now if i uncheck then how fast it is loading you can check it out right so the conditional statement is something where you need to process your condition within the javascript all you need to reference that output property itself you should not you are not allowed to do any comparison or comparative logic within the html file of lightning web component or inside template so whatever the data operations or data comparisons you need to perform you need to perform everything on your getter likewise you can define a getter and this getter will take care of all other things and it will produce an output whether it is eligible or not eligible it means whether if it is a true or it have a value or whether it is undefined or null with that the template will understand it will render your data based on your data operations hope this video helps you so much thanks for watching please do subscribe and stay updated with lightning web components follow us at procodingskills.com thank you